We understand that you guys plan to rely on the Postal Service to send out these free tests whenever they're ready, but the Postal Service says they're going to have a staffing shortage because of your vaccine mandate. So would you pull back on the vaccine mandate if it meant getting people these free tests sooner? The Postal Service also delivered 98, 99% of packages on time in advance of Christmas. And they also, their leaders have also said they're eager to take on this challenge. So we welcome that, and we're looking forward to working with them to get these tests out to the public. Hey. Go ahead. Thank you, Jen. Uh, just two quick questions. Um, I wonder, uh, a group of congressional Democrats wrote to the White House um, urging the president to use executive power to essentially use uh, the Defense Production Act to manufacture enough rapid tests so that Americans could each take one test per week. Um, I wonder if the White House, White House had any response to that, and if they think that is you know, an achievable goal, something that they would shoot for, um, or just any response to that letter. Well, we, we've seen that letter. The good news is that we agree, and we we're already doing most of what's in that letter. So we use the Defense Production Act to drive production of these tests, and we'll do so again when it can accelerate production and delivery of these tests. We use, uh, deploy $3 billion procurement of tests. We use $3 billion to procure tests, uh, which, was, which became a major driver uh, in increasing and expanding the market uh, for tests. Um, and the President's plan to procure and distribute 500 million tests to all Americans is in and of itself providing a major stimulus for global production of these tests. We agree. That's why we've already used the Defense Production Act. I know they referenced the hotline. There will be more details on that this week. Uh, our objective here is to expand access to free public testing, as is referenced there. We're already in the process of sending 50 million rapid antigen tests directly to federally qualified health centers. I know they referenced that, and to rural health clinics. And we're publishing guidance, as I noted. Uh, we'll have more details later today on that. So the good news is that we agree with what, a lot of what they're saying, and we uh, we have already taken steps to uh, put in place a number of measures. One other one. Uh, you mentioned to follow up on the Chicago schools issue. Um, you mentioned that the administration has been in touch with the mayor and the governor. Has anybody from the administration been in touch directly with the teachers' union? And if not, why? We are in touch regularly with the teachers' union uh, and, and have certainly been, but I don't have any more details. Go ahead.